Hey guys, T from Florida here. And I'm in uh, Eureka, Florida. And came out looking for an old swing bridge that uh, was left over from the original Cross Florida Barge Canal that was uh, starting to be built back in the 60s. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was ended in the early 90s. So it left a lot of uh, things throughout the state as it cut across. Uh, it was going to cut through the state to save shipping, the shipping industry from having to uh, cut around the entire state of Florida. Well, as it crosses certain rivers and streams and lakes and things like that uh, going through Florida, like um, the Ocklawaha River, which is right in front of me here, uh, they would have to figure out ways to get uh, across the river. And this is one of them right here. So you guys probably know that, uh, and you can you can see the new bridge in the background. Uh, it's also Highway 316. It's a fairly tall bridge, uh, relatively newer. But look in front of me here. This is a swing bridge. What's left of it? This was so the um, railroad could get across the bridge. And you can see the bottom of it here. Now, this is what I've been told, that this was a railroad crossing. However, if you come down here and you're able to find this, it's at the end of a dead-end road. Uh, and I don't see any remnants of a railroad bed so this could have been a railroad bed or used for uh, vehicular traffic either way these are pretty unique there's not a lot of them very uh, left so you can see the track on the top of it and the bridge would swing 90 degrees to let the traffic flow up and down the river so the boats could get by. And then it would go in the closed position for the uh, vehicular traffic. And my position, or uh, my thinking, is that this was for uh, the train to get across the river. Let's see if I can get a, another angle here on it for you. It literally could go either way. Uh, it's not really wide enough for vehicular traffic. If I pan back around this way, and you can see how it's built up here. And it's not very wide. Um, if it was for vehicular traffic, then it would have been uh, for basically one car width, maybe a car and a half. But swing bridges are pretty rare, so it's pretty uh, a pretty cool find. So this is not hard to find either. Um, if you're approaching 316 uh, over the Oklawaha River, there's a canoe outpost, and you can park um, on a dead end road behind that, and you can walk right down to the river to it, not too far. So pretty cool find, irregardless. Another view from down here, down by the river itself. And here's the Oklawaha River. Not a very wide river at this point of it. Very popular for uh, canoers and kayakers. Here's a view from up top of the uh, roadway or railroadway that 
across the river at one point. I'm standing on one top, you can see the other side of it, and the swing bridge in the middle. Pretty cool, not many of these things left.